A Jacksonville man who's awaiting trial on charges he killed his girlfriend by setting her on fire has written a letter from jail. It appears he's asking a judge for the death penalty. This is Darrell Whipple just moments before prosecutors say he lit Carol Demons on fire as she was working at a Westside Golden Corral in October of 2016. Demons died a month later from her injuries. Whipple is facing the death penalty if found guilty, but this letter could delay the start of his trial. The judge has ordered a mental evaluation. News 4 Jacks reporter Janice Harris reviewed the eight-page letter and the effect it could have on the trial. Janice. Mary, this is a copy of that letter. Depending on what doctors find during the mental health evaluation, it could save him from the death penalty. October 2016, surveillance video at a Golden Corral shows Daryl Whipple walk up to his then-girlfriend, Carol Dimmons. He pours a flammable liquid on Dimmons and then sets her on fire with a lighter. A month later, she died from her injuries. Whipple pleaded not guilty at the time. Now there is this new court document. Two years later, Whipple appears to be asking for death in this eight-page letter of metaphors and accountability. On page five, Whipple writes, quote, like Luke, chapter 23, verse 40 through 43, I accept the imminent three nails. Also, on page seven, quote, willing to pay the ultimate price for the indicted offense. Why can't I? Also on page seven, quote, I only want but to finish my course. The letter was filed on November 9th, and 10 days later, a judge ordered a mental evaluation. Attorney Gene Nichols, not affiliated with the case, says these words sound like a death wish. This is probably what triggered the court and the state and the defense to get this man evaluated. As we review this document, what we see in here is it appears he is asking to be put to death. The confusing language of this letter could be evidence that Whipple is not mentally stable. And with this type of case, this could potentially save his life? Potentially. So at this point in time, it does not appear that his competency, whether or not he can even stand for trial, has been evaluated or questioned. Now a doctor has to determine what is really going on in Whipple's mind. And I reached out to Demon's family, but their phone numbers have since no longer worked. They're disconnected. We've also posted this letter on our website so you can look at it too at newsforjacks.com. Whipple will be back in court for his next pretrial date on December 18th. Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.